Put what? That trail camera out just for fun. Uh oh. Are you gonna put it out here? <clears throat> yeah, I was gonna put it up in that tree line. Uh oh. Uh, what's going on guys? August 16th. That's one. <laughs> that's like 14 that'll, that'll be the one that I get. <laughs> but Matt and I are out here on public land. On our way out here, I about wrecked the truck because there was a, how many, there was like what six eight shooters. Oh, at least. At least, I mean, the one was an absolute giant, and unfortunately, it's on private land. But yeah, I guess it is beans. I'll take your word for it next time. Yeah. It's like 7.30, get a hour or so of glassing in, so I'm going to go set up shop on this hill, check out the dove fields, might be something in there. I feel, they make that bigger, because wasn't it this like being this field and then like the next edge was CRP. I'm pretty sure it's all beans now. I don't know, I'm only, I'm not 6'7 like you. But, yeah, should have been, I should have got out and tried to film those deer, but we were in the middle of, yeah, as soon as I stopped, they last, they stood there for about 20 seconds and skedaddled, so. But we're gonna get up here and See if we can glass anything. See a new hat. She's sweet. But stay tuned. That's a decent buck right there, dude. Yeah. Right here in front of me. I thought it was too, but I don't think it is. Oh my god, focus. Focus. Dude, there's a nice one. Where? Oh, crap. Where? To the left of this tree. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A good one. I don't mean, I'm getting too excited for that. Oh, not the nice buck. A big buck. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Stick your head up. Can you see his tines? Yeah. I just... Oh my goodness. Yeah. He's, a giant. He's decent though. I'd shoot him every day on public land. I shoot him on the Check out this one over here. There's another one to his right. What's that one? To which one? Oh, to his, next to the big one? Yeah, to his right. The body side, I'm guessing, is not much bigger. Oh no, he's kind of nice. I mean, that one's tall. Which one? The one that has his head down? looking at it. Oh no, he's not. Oh, clean. that's a decent one, too. Good God. I think it's one of the biggest ones here. This is worth the hike up down here. Oh yeah. Oh, that other one's decent, too. Yeah, they both are. I wish they were closer so I could get better footage. Oh, far that zooms in? Yeah. See how close you can get. Huh? I was gonna say, see how close you can get. Hell, heck no. I think there's a bunch running in the corner there. Four fawns back here, that's good to see. Yeah. Kind of coming through the box, I bet they put their heads up here soon. I don't think there's another little one back here, maybe at least one. Nothing like these. Yeah, they both put them. That one's like tall and tight. Yeah. This back. 
I'm facing this wide and short. God, look at him. Dude, he's a nice one. He's super tight. Yeah, he is. I'm about to set up on that deadfall opening day. Dude, that one's wide though. Yeah. That one's unique, it's like, you like widen up. It like hoops up on the ends. Yeah. Here we hold this. Oh, I'm getting poking and bugging me. Am I holding? Yeah, but just a okay, can't come in. Oh, try not. I know, but like it's off the ground. Oh. I can't see where I'm at. Yeah, just come around here. Are you just adjusting it? Though? You got it? Yeah. Are you adjusting the legs? No, I'm just taking a oh. picture real quick. What the heck are you doing? Oops, I was looking at Oh. Both of them are like unique in their own little way. I don't know in the back are spooking. I don't know why. Wedding. Oh, that's right, you got a On opening day, yeah. I guess I could go in the morning. But how are you never going to get in here without spooking them, though? Not in the morning. This is zoom in farther. No. What's this one there? I said it's like a little eight point. Maybe not even as big as I thought. Maybe that's not the same deer. Okay, I think that's a doe now. Working towards his bucks. There's a fawn. The two that are right in front look like mature does. Oh. oh my gosh. I'm flipping, flipping Jack. He's like perfect too. Yeah. When he turns sideways, all you see is one or antler. Right. I love how that one swoops up though too. Yeah. See what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. Call him swoop. I gotta steal that from Caitlin Moss. 
that what she calls them? She called one of the one oh, that she killed. I'm just kidding, I'm not calling it swoosh then. <laughs> I definitely like that tall one better though. I can't even decide. I like the tall one too. I love that, but that's that one. I choose either one for sure. I mean, I would too. Even if like the first one to walk in, if they're both out walking together, the first yeah. one getting low range, getting there. You know, it's it's almost too bad they're right there. That's where you put the camera. I'm not spooking them off. No, do that though. no. Right. There ain't, there's no trees behind this one to hang a saddle on, is there? This tree? Yeah, I can't yeah. see behind it. Oh, you mean on the other side of the field? Yeah, like right where yeah. they're eating. Is there a place to put a to uh, hang? I can't tell. It doesn't look like it. I don't know how you'd hunt that. Well, I mean, we get a west wind majority. You'd have to get them coming in, though. You'd you have, have to know where they're crossing. They're probably bedded up in this stuff. I bet they're better on the other back side. There, yeah. But you get a west wind, it's going to be blowing this way. Yeah, to get in your tree, but then so I'm saying you're going to have to know where they're coming through yeah. the fence line at, though. Because once they get in that field, they're not going to get in front of you without smelling you. Yeah. Or if you get a southwest wind, that'd be <coughs> perfect. Just set up. Don't set up all the way down that corner. Set up in that first tall tree there. Yeah, but I'm, I'm betting they're coming out. Where they right about where they gap. were at. Yeah. I bet they're not feeding much farther than fifty yards. Because there's that gap there. right there too. Yeah. You almost need a freaking north wind. Or a straight, a, gamble, though, a straight south wind. Blow up this way. Oh, yeah, and set up on this thing. That's probably better. Cause yeah, north you know, wind. Because they're, they're, they're betting in all of this. Yeah, like, I can't speak to you. Know. This is crazy amount of deer. I know. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Well, this was totally worth the uh, trip for sure. Shh. I know I'm crooked, but we're up on this knob here. I ain't worried about it. But we got two really nice bucks out there. Got a field full of does. That high and tight one's walking. Yeah. I'm about to just quit hunting kings. <laughs> if you get a public land buck like that, that'd be. Yeah. You know, there's not a freaking giant by any means. I'd be way more proud of that buck. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Kings. 100%. Catch a big ass bass too. <laughs> yeah. Go frog gigging. Oh yeah. But I'm just, not, like, just judging by how many deers in this field, I'm gonna take a wild guess. Say that this being, a, I'm gonna say it. You can edit it out, but the DSA zone public land. Yeah. I'm gonna, I gotta take a guess at that affected how many people hunted it last year. Maybe not during gun week, but for bow season. Yeah, I'd have been <clears throat> curious to see how many people were out here during gun season or gun week. I mean, I mean if, if that's if there was a lot of bow hunters and they weren't getting pressure all year, they'd come back quick. Yeah. If yeah. I sat on this hill before, and there was like 40 deer out here, and I saw two does in this field, and that was right. It. And there's way more deer in this field, especially bucks. And there's all that. Well, and like seeing, I mean. Was it confirmed that DNR came out here and just... I've only heard it by ear. I know. I never read anything about it. Because that was what, last year? Or the year before? Yeah, two years ago. Two years ago? Because I... The I first mean, time I heard about it, it was like 54 deer, 55 deer that they killed. Yeah. And was it you that talked to somebody or told me about it? Or somebody... The last person I heard was 120 some deer that they killed. I don't, I don't think I ever heard a number. I've heard just, a couple different numbers now. I don't know. That's why I don't know if I believe in it. Another one stepped out right there. There's another nice one. Where? The one on the far right in the back here. With its head down? Yeah. Like behind those three does? Yeah, one just walked Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Which one is it? Which one? 
Where'd he go? You might be the one walking to the right. Or he's the one with his head down. I think it's the one with his head down. With the door. With his, yeah. Yep. So. That deer right in the middle with its head down is a nice buck. That doesn't need to get out of the way. She knows we're up here. She's going to let you see this rack. Keep this PG, boys. Oh, it might all be bucks. I was going to say. Yeah, this is... Yeah, that one's definitely... Yeah, there's definitely two bucks. That big one is facing to the left. Yeah. The one right behind him is another buck. And I think that one to the right is the small, small one. With oh, the there's three of them. Yeah. What's that a dark body one? It's a buck. Is it a nice one? He's it, not terrible. That one's real nice. Yeah. He's just typical, we don't want him. No. I'd shoot him, but... Yeah, we're gonna hunt this. Looks he had to come out of the stuff to the south there. Because there's a doe. In the corner? Right, well, not in the corner, but see that tallest, that first tallest tree right here? Yeah. She's right below it to the left. That. And it almost looks like... that one buck in range. They both probably are. Yeah. Getting to that's going to be the issue because I'm telling you, if they came out of that gap, you're, you're busting no matter what. I don't think they're going to but then if you're north wind, you're going to blow everything out of there, which might make them come out, come out. No, if you get a well, yeah, if you get a north wind, that's what I'm saying. You almost need a straight south or a southwest. Yeah, but if, you, I'm just, like, I'm, if they came out of that gap, that doe walk, if you got a straight south wind and you're in that tall tree, they're going to bust you before they get to the field. Well, that's why you almost got to sit. You almost have to sit that's almost going to have to be a ground spot, yeah. honestly, until you figure out where they're coming in and out of. I mean, if we could get down there and check it out. I don't I mean, I'm not, I'd go down there at all. I'm not busting them out Maybe of there. Maybe during a rainstorm? Or in the middle of the freaking day. Or you day. get here at like 4 o'clock and just sit on this hill and just watch. Yeah. Just watch until they start trickling out. Yeah. I don't know. Who knows the bigger ones are still stuck now? I'm trying to watch that doe that's like right on the tree line. Did you watch? One did walk through. Did you see it? Yeah. That was way up here though. This stuff is itchy. I know. Yeah. It's like they're probably sticking out your skin. I want to go back check that killing field though too. Do you want to walk back there? Come on. What if a bigger one walks out? I don't know. He's just waiting. I can't say they haven't really blasted either. Cause well, we got a perfect wind. Like, but they've kind of looked up this way. Okay. When I went over there to walk one, about where the first shrubs are in the CRP, mm -hmm. the doe busted out of there. <laughs> I guess our wind is blowing up there. But yeah. Dang, that one must have ducked in somewhere. That one must have ducked in. I don't see him anymore. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, there he is. Just 
tall and tight. And that one's wide. Huh? There's two does that came out of this corner. Like they walked up to that corner. I think they went across the road. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, right now it's supposed to be hot on the ninth. Yeah, with a northwest wind, so that'd be I'd almost be willing to sit up on this pond somewhere. Couple good trees right there. Yeah, thing is, is they. I mean, you look at them like right now, they're not. They never make it here. Not unless it's hot. You're saying they might come here first. Maybe. But, but those beans are getting a little bit of moisture too. Yeah. I mean, there's several ponds up in there. Actually, they might yeah. be around those ponds all day and then come to the beans. Thank <laughs> you.